Hi friends, we'll use one student ID and pick up a row from a database. It can be MySQL database or SQLite database and then use that name of that record to display it on an entry box. Next step, we may able to edit it and update it also, but we'll not move up to that. We'll only display the record or the data taken from the database and in a display it in an entry box. Before we move, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icons so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently adding that also. Let's try the script. To create the sample student table in your MySQL database, visit this URL. This is there in the description. Copy this uh, sample SQL dump and then visit PHP MyAdmin. Go to your SQL window paste it here so once you paste it click go now your table is ready to create your uh, sqlite database visit this url the it is there in the description scroll down to the end of this page here you can download the zip file and inside this zip file you will have my underscore dv dot db that is the database which has the sample student table you can use it We'll test our database connection and display the records. First, we are uh, importing our SQL Alchemy and based on your version right now, whatever is, you have to use the text also. We'll see that. Now, next, second line, we are using this particular connection to connect to MySQL database. Now, we can change it to SQLite also. So, in that case, you have to use these two lines. So, let's first connect to MySQL and check the data. So, here, here you are connecting it. Now, next line, we'll take the query query equal to now we'll say because it's a single record we are taking select name from student student is our table name where id equal to five or one id we have picked up now using that my data equal to now here now let's execute the connection my connection ab above that uh, above the line we have declared it execute now here inside text and then query so now this is we got the access and got the data from there now what will because it's a single record what you will do is my row equal to my data will take the take out the single row from the record set so my data fetch one so now it is one record only now my row contains a tuple actually and this tuple because here in this case only one column name we are calling you can just see here name so we can print it let's first print the uh, tuple and see my row it's a row of single row data only let's run this you can see here this is the data now what i can do is i will take it a first element of this so i'll get a clean data which we'll be using let me run this and here you can see the name only the name is printed now let me change to sqlite database i nothing has to be changed below this line i am commenting uncommenting this now it is connected to sqlite here is the path and the database d testing this is my path to the database in your case if it is a different location you may have to change it so let me save this run again now i should get the same output because the same table exists in this sqlite database this is our kinter window and here you can see one label name and uh, then below that one entry box e1 now let's just run once and see how this looks here it is now this name by default or once you open the window this should take the name from the database and display it here so for that we'll slightly modify this one so str1 equal to tk dot string var now here i am not so far i am not putting any value here here what i am doing is i am connecting this uh, to this, this string variable to our entry box so for that we will use text variable is equal to str1 now this is the entry box now it is connected to our string variable this string variable will set the value for this taking from the database so we'll just copy the code here we'll take up to this copy this code now we are coming here again now above this i will put that code here this print is not required right now okay if you want you can keep the print but I know what it will print to the console. So I am coming that here. 
what I am doing is string variable value. Once it opens up value, it will be I'll give it that the value my row zero or the name value only because the same query here the query is name I am picking up name and then I am using that name to assign the value to string variable this string variable is connected here bars str1 is connected as text variable attribute now let me just save it and run once here it is this name has come as John Mike because it is the fifth ID now let me close this and take one more ID I will say let's say uh, nine the ID is nine one more different names it should pick up you can see the this is the name has changed like that whatever I can take that input uh, uh, this ID also as an input and taken from the database I can display it also that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and able to understand the concept of taking data from the database and displaying in a Kinder window my request is Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching.